Some of you have been asking me in the comments on my last video about WACT how you can buy this token, as well as why you should buy this token, like what's the whole point of it, can you make any money off of it? So I'm going to address those questions in this video. Let's actually address the value aspect first. So this token is not going to be used as a medium of exchange. You should get that idea out of your head. The burn mechanic completely screws that up since 10% of the tokens in every transaction are destroyed and then one in 1,000 transactions gets totally destroyed. Nobody's gonna want to use some type of digital money with that stuff going on. Uh, by the way, that one in 1,000 transactions getting destroyed isn't completely random. I'm going to cover how you can try to avoid that when we get into buying. But don't buy this token thinking that you're getting in on the next Bitcoin or the next Ethereum or the next Monero really early on, no. This is basically just a collector's token. I would think of it more as an NFT with a supply that is constantly going down. Uh, so far, over 25% of the tokens have been whacked. Now, obviously, it is possible to make some money off of NFTs, so we should probably try to assess the value of this more like an NFT. So obviously, uh, the supply of this going down will drive the price up as long as people are still interested in it, as long as people actually want to buy it. The value is also related to John McAfee's fame because this is his last cryptocurrency that he ever made or that he was ever involved in. He was kind of popular in some circles, I would say probably libertarian, maybe alt tech and crypto circles. Uh, he is also one of these guys who is popular for his craziness. So the question is, will he be more popular in death than he was in life? I think it's possible. I mean, we've seen that happen with people like Edgar Allan Poe, Bruce Lee. I think even Terry Davis became more popular after he passed away than when he was alive. And RIP to all of those guys, there will never be somebody like any of them again. Uh, there's also... McAfee's alleged contingency plan. So a huge data dump uh, that he supposedly has on the elites, but who knows for sure if he actually has any of that. Um, like he had this Rusty Shackleford YouTube channel where he was flying drones over uh, Epstein Island, AKA pedophile Island, kind of like trying to see what was going on there before anybody even really knew about this. Like. Uh, you know, you could have always heard rumors back in the day about a pedophile island, but nobody really knew about it or wasn't in the mainstream until uh, 2019. So, yeah, like that's you can take that for what it is. There hasn't been anything major that's really come out uh, since his death. And even if he does have all of this data and all this dirt on people, it's not necessarily connected to this cryptocurrency. Uh, so that's pretty much all that I know about this token. It's more of a novelty token, so you might make some money, you might lose some money. I was lucky enough to get in on it uh, when it was under a penny, like I bought it around half a cent or something, and then I sold some of my whacked for four or five cents. So I've already made back my investment, and I'm pretty much just holding what I have for now. Um, if you want to buy it yourself though, you're gonna need some Ethereum. So you can head over to Coinbase or Binance, uh, whatever type of exchange that sells Ethereum, and then you can go ahead and buy it that way. Next, you're going to need this browser extension called MetaMask. So this can be installed from uh, Firefox add-ons or the Chrome add-ons if you're using Google Chrome. Uh, so just go ahead and add that. And then it should automatically take you to this page with the little like fox guy that's gonna follow your mouse cursor everywhere you go. Uh, so go to get started and it's going to have you set up a, a secret recovery phrase. If I'm assuming that you don't have one already, if you do then you know just import your wallet, uh, your MetaMask wallet. But to create a wallet, we just click that and then click agree and then make up a password. And of course, make sure you write this down because you're going to need it to uh, access your MetaMask. Create. And then they give you a, a short little video here on how to secure it. Um, so now the secret backup phrase, you're going to need to write this down and it's a secret. So don't give it to anybody. Uh, like I'm not actually going to use this wallet because obviously all of you guys can see it. 
and then they're going to make you um, enter in that phrase. So make sure that you have it written down. You can always go back if you forgot to write it down. All right, hit confirm. And again, make sure you have the seed phrase written down in a safe place. I can't stress that enough. And then we're all done. So you should have Ethereum uh, already added into here as an asset. So this is the address that you're going to use. Uh, well, not this one, whichever one that you copy from your MetaMask, because otherwise you're gonna send it to this one here. Um, you want to go back into Coinbase, Binance, whatever exchange you use to buy your Ethereum with fiat money. And then you want to just send it over uh, to that account. So you'll just go into the Ethereum, choose send, and then send to this account. And in a few minutes, it should show up here. Um, it might not be exactly the amount because usually you have to pay a small fee to send Ethereum, but it'll be it'll tell you all of that in the exchange and then you'll have that amount here in your MetaMask wallet. Now go back over to Dextools.io and you want to search for WACT, but you want to search for it with the contract address, which is this right here. Uh, and I'll also put it in the description because there's people that are copying it. So like if we just uh, search for WACT normally and we take a look at this one here, this is an example of one of the scam tokens. So you see it's all buys and no sells because the developer made it so that you can't sell this token. So like this is a complete waste of money. Search for the token with the contract address and then that's never going to lead you astray. All right, so now we want to go to trade. And it's going to prompt you to import this token because it's brand new, it's not well known. But again, just make sure that you've got the contract address ending in two E's. Import it and then select your token. So we'll do Ethereum and then connect your wallet, select MetaMask. Hit next, connect. All right, and now you're able to actually uh, start trading. Uh, well, not with this one because it's not funded. So let's get my real browser over here. Um, and we'll copy this, go here. Trade. Uh, let's see, I think I have my U block set too aggressively. Yep. All right, select our token. Ethereum. Oh, and I got to reconnect my wallet here because I'm not logged in. All right, so then we're going to trade. Um, let's see, how much WAC do I want to get? Let's see, I've got 19, 740. So why don't we get back up to 20K? Let's do um, 330. All right, so you can see that's gonna cost me $700, or not $700, $7. $7 or 0.003F, and then confirm swap. Oh, uh, one other thing. So about that uh, whacked monitor, there's some sites that people are setting up where they basically monitor the transactions to tell you what number it's at. So as long as it's below four, or as long as it's below 999, then like you're not gonna get whacked. You're not gonna be the 1,000th transaction because uh, it's literally like every 1,000. It's not just random. Uh, so you can check that or you can you know view the transactions down here to see who got whacked. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and confirm the swap. And that's gonna ask you to confirm over here. Um, so yeah, you might not wanna buy a really low amount like I did uh, $7 because obviously the gas fee costs more, but Whatever, it's just to show an example. Um, close. All right, so then it's pending and it's going to come in uh, within a couple of minutes. So there we go, my transaction went through and now my wax stack is just above 20,000 again, uh, now that I have the 300 extra. Because remember, that's why I bought 330, 10% always gets sent to the burn wallet. 
Uh, you can also adjust your slippage tolerance here. So you might have to raise this um, in case like there's a lot of trading going on. 15% is actually probably kind of high. I probably could have it as low as like, I don't know, maybe 7%. You can experiment with this a little bit. It, the transaction just won't go through if it's not high enough. Um, and it'll let you know that right away. You can also adjust your um, gas fees in your MetaMask, so it'll tell you uh, like different speeds. Mine was actually doing the slower fee just because it was such a low transaction. Um, so yeah, there we go. I've got my whacked right there. Um, don't expect to get rich quick or really at all with this. It pumped a little bit last weekend, but this probably won't have any major value unless McAfee's fame increases. And even then, there needs to be a market for it. Uh, there needs to be collectors that are willing to pay whatever you think is a good price for this token. Right now it's trading at about two cents. Uh, so this isn't financial advice or investment advice, just a nice little shit coin to remember John McAfee by.